वे गुड मॉर्निंग एंड ओम शांति टू ऑल ऑफ यू लिस्नर्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल सी द सो द ट्रूथ लाइज विद इन एंड फॉर दोज हुर लिसन टू दिस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम ट्विटर यू हैव अ लिंक डाउन बिलो ओवर हियर एंड दैट विल टेक यू टू वर्ड्स द यूट्यूब चैनल वे यू कैन गो एंड हैव अ लुक एट योगासन्स चेयर एक्सरसाइजेज डायट स्लीप पैटर्नस रिलेशनशिप्स एंड मैनी मोर थिंग्स सो गो हैड एंड हैव अ लुक एंड इफ यू लाइक दोज वीडियोज टू शेयर इट विद अदर्स So let's go ahead with today's blessing, two hundred nineteen day of Godly blessing. Let's see what Baba has to say. Baba says, "May you become an image who grants visions, and grant everyone a vision of themselves with your powerful mirror." We'll get in the explanation part now. when you go in front of a mirror very simple to understand you have a very clear vision of yourself the physical self then instead of your real form however if the mirror is not powerful then instead of your real form you would see something else right you may be thin but you would see yourself as fat problem is where in the mirror therefore you become such a powerful mirror that you give everyone a vision of themselves now when you meet people we generally try to relate to each other on the basis of what habits or what things we like and don't like right and on the basis of that if somebody is having certain activities or certain behaviors which are not so pure not so good <clears throat> for instance let's say drinking if they are into drinking and you say oh, well i also drink and you laugh about it well those two sanskars or two habits have matched and that's why you might become good buddies you might become good friends but god over here says that's the th- same thing which you can apply in spirituality let's see what he wants to say therefore you become such a powerful mirror that you give everyone a vision of themselves so there's goodness in everybody even though there are weaknesses but there's goodness in everybody so if somebody meets you they can find out the goodness in you and they can find out that same goodness is there within them so baba says that is as soon as they come in front of you they forget their bodies and become stable in their soul conscious form if your body conscious if you talk about physical aspects physical needs physical desires or physical wants of things and other things then what happens is the person who's standing or sitting in front of us we can generate the jealousy we can generate the greed in that person or we can generate either some form of competition with yourself in that person that's all about what you're thinking within but if you're soul conscious if you see everybody as not a competition if you see everybody not through the lens of how rich or poor they are good looking bad look ugly or whatsoever physically they look as then you are soul conscious and other souls also want to be relieved of these impure thoughts of jealousy greed anger and many more things so baba says become soul conscious when you are soul conscious other souls who come in front of you they also don't look at you on a physical basis they don't compare themselves with you they don't compete with you so that is the method of giving peace to other souls that is the mirror which god wants us to have so when other souls meet you they feel peaceful they feel lighter whereas when you meet a person who is sizing you up on the basis of all the other physical attributes of wealth or physical looks or what you're wearing what you're not wearing how do you feel do you feel comfortable no so god wants us to be soul conscious this is a real service god is saying not just talking through the words and giving out the knowledge but being in that soul conscious stage so that other souls feel that lightness when they meet you so that they can see that yes they do have that quality within them which they've been not in touch with or missing out on so this is the real service and there will be victory through this so if you want your own family members to be lighter light headed and to not to be in rage or greed or jealousy then god wants you who whom god has chosen as to be in that soul conscious form as much as possible to bring about that peace not an easy thing to do but that is what god wants us to do because that's the final frontier that is what everybody will have to become soul conscious so as to bring about peace in their families bring out peace in the neighborhood in the cities where they live and in the country too 
So this is the whole process. How to be soul conscious? That is what you learn at Brahma Kumaris. What is the in-depth knowledge of soul consciousness so that you can leave your own weaknesses first and then be able to help somebody else see the true self, the true, pure, divine self. So I'll leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. Have a blessed day. If you have any comments, do leave them in the comment box. If you have any suggestions, do leave them in the comment box. And if you like this, do share it with others. Stay safe. Om Shanti.